ready to make another video. Yeah. Wish we could get rid of these damn flies. Let's do a video. That time again. What's up, YouTube? I'm dealing with a massive fly infestation. I cleaned the workshop up yesterday and rearranged and all kinds of stuff. I know, yeah, I noticed my glasses are like whatever. I, I guess I got a crooked head. Um, so anyway, uh, fly problem. I hung up fly strip and it was full in like two hours. And I'm still dealing with it while I'm recording. So you'll see them buzz across the screen. You might see them land on my nose. This is take number three. Because uh, I didn't realize I had one landed on my nose. I didn't see it. I figured that looked like crap. So anyway. Got some chatter going on the radio. Uh, let's get busy. Uh, fire up your web browser. And uh, head on over to PAL. Right there. Allstarlink.org. All right, I'm already registered, but you will need to sign up. Sign up right here. And once you sign up for the website, come on in and go to Portal, then Server Settings, Add a New Server. That's what you're going to need to do. Boom. You want to proceed with Server Setup. And then you'll fill out this information here. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use one that I've already set up. I will show you here. Okay. So, server name, give it a name, whatever. Doesn't matter. If not, one will probably be, well, it will be made. Um, then, uh, yeah, let me know if I get another fly on my nose here. Uh, your location, city and state, all right, uh, where your node is at. Um, Almost all of this is just useful information. Some of it is, is needed, but most of it is just useful, uh, especially for others trying to find your node. Uh, so city and state, uh, where it's at, you know, portable node, home node, whatever. I guess more flies. I just made workshop. Uh, if you're affiliated with a club, you can put all that in here too. Uh, I'm affiliated with the KG4 HOT220 system. Um, then uh, the host name, this is what, is what will be actually be on your Raspberry Pi. Um, it'll be the, the Pi's name. So mine's KG4FJC Home. Uh, leave the IX port alone. That's more advanced. Uh, 4569 should be there automatically. And proxy IP, normally blank. Only needed in rare cases. Optional. Okay. Then uh, your Latin long, set on your map. Drop a pin right where you're at. And then click Submit. Okay. So that's how you set up your server. Now we're going to need to go to Portal, Node Settings. Okay, I'm not going to create a new node. I've already got plenty, as you can see here. Um, actually, there's a couple of these that are I need to redo because they're not valid anymore. Um, all right, so continue. All right, now you're going to click right here and request a node. Okay. You can do it extend, request, or remove. All right. Once you have one node uh, request in, um, I would actually, uh, what do you, all right, let me back up. You'll request the node, okay? And that's all done by volunteers, so give them, give them some time, you know, have some patience. Uh, it takes like a week or so. Um, you'll fill out all the information on the next page and uh, submit it. They will review it. They will uh, assign you a node number and all that and then turn man these flies uh, do you know how hard it is to make a video with flies buzzing all around i mean i've got like 50 of them still in here and the fly strip is full oh god it's annoying ah such is the life i chose anyway um yeah they're even annoying the dog down there um once you have your node number all right come on back in here all right to this page and Extend your node number. All right. Now this is good because you'll be able to stop leaning on the wires. It hurts my arm. Um, you'll be able to extend the node number, and what it does is it changes it from a five-digit to a six-digit number. Okay. And it's cool. <laughs> they're annoying the dog because uh, you don't have to take up valuable node numbers. That I mean, there's only a limited pool. Um, I forget how many, but there's only a limited number. Um, but anyway, come back in here and do an extension. This is all automated. You don't have to wait for it. It's 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 right away. You'll you'll select which node number 
you want to extend, okay? If you notice, these are all the base node numbers. Um, flies. <laughs> flies. Don't give me a complex, man. Uh, I think the goats have something to do with it here. Uh, you'll choose your node, okay? You'll probably only have one at that point. And hit continue and extend the node number out. All right, the reason I'm saying to do this now is because it will change your base node number. So you'll have to go back in and change your your crap if you're not right. And that is kind of, it's not a pain, but you know, I'd do it if you don't have to. Go ahead and take care of it now. So do all of that. Once you get all of that in, all right, then we're going to head over to hamvoip.org. Uh, again, props to Doug and uh, all the gang with Ham VIP that do killer work, I think. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to get our image by clicking on download. See, downloading the image, it just brings the page down. All right, if you're using Windblows, uh, you'll need this one right here. It's a self-extracting file, and it contains, I believe, three programs. Um, so you will save that. All right, and I have already saved it. There's my videos there I just put a link on the desktop all right so double click it's that easy walk through it it's a self extracting it tell you know you tell it where to where to go uh, where to save it and then it'll give you win 32 disk imager and putty and something else I think yeah, I can't remember I think the other ones for moving like bulk files between your computer and, and that one um, so that's what you need to do and we'll be back in a second to show you how those all right, we're back. I take a break. Nature called. All right, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a micro SD card. Pow, one of those. All right, this is a 32 gig micro SD card. And yeah, there it is uh, on my fingertip. All right, and depending on your computer, you will need uh, a way to actually put stuff on this. That's where these come in. These are the little uh, card adapters. Uh, if your computer has the slot for the standard size SD card, a lot of them do. Uh, your mileage may vary. It's going to be whatever. All right, we're going to actually, literally right now, I hope it don't mess my computer up. Slip that in. And, okay, yeah, it recognizes it. Good, so let me close that. And, all right, so let me go over here. All right, what we're going to do is you've already extracted that. You've got your WinDisk 32. That's the one we're going to be concerned with with this video. We'll get into putty uh, next video. Should be. Um, so open that one. Yes. Wow, that was weird. All right. Yeah. I don't know if it came through or not, but anyway, I'll look at it in post. All right, so that opens this up. All right, so... Right here on the little folder thingy, downloads. We want to select the uh, image that it uh, that it uh, decompressed when we did that. All right, a long time ago. Okay, whatever. Anyway, double click, boom, puts it there. Now here, this is the drive where you're going to save it at. Be careful, it's going to format and overwrite whatever drive you select. So you need to select the drive, and to do that, let's bring that up. All right. Secure digital storage, F. Okay, I don't want C. That's the only hard drive I've got hooked up right now. Is Well, the only external media I have. All right, so we know where we want to go with that. All right, F. And then click right. Boom. Are you sure? Duh. And then it will do its thing. So let it do its thing. And uh, we will come back as soon as it's done doing its thing. It's going to take a while. Um, yeah, I'll probably, well, depending on if depending on your computer, everybody's got a faster computer than my freaking laptop. So uh, it'll take a little while. We'll be back when it's done. All right. Right successful. There we go. I think everything's working. Whatever. Right successful. That's a good thing. Okay. Thank you exit all right so now bring file manager back up 
this is uh, about what you should have uh, on your uh, SD card. Um, so you're good there. All right, that's uh, I can't think and do clickety clickety clickety. Um, now you have successfully. I can pull this thing out now. All right, I just literally burned this card. So now that we've got our card, we've got our, our node information. We're uh, we're getting there. Um, that's going to be it for part five. Um, you, I mean, it's step by step. So that's all stuff you got to do. Next, we start playing with the Pi and, um, again, a monitor and keyboard. And uh, I figure out how I'm going to do the camera for that. Uh, I think I've got to figure it out. But, um, that's how we're going to do... Damn, flies. Uh, we're going to do that. So you'll need the Pi, monitor, and keyboard. Um, for the very first part, you won't need to have your radio hooked up or even the uh, um, interface hooked up. Um, we're just going to do setting up the node. And, uh, well, that's it, really. So the, the Pi, the card you burn, the monitor, keyboard, and a power supply for the Pi are, uh, yeah, that's all the things you will need. <laughs> I keep adding, it seems like, but that's all you will need. So uh, uh, we'll see you in uh, part six, seven, three, KG4FJC.